something else to start with. Very inspiring story. Yeah, meeting up with an old friend, it has to be said. 14 years ago, Scarborough boxer Paul Ingle was in intensive care, having collapsed with a blood clot on his brain while defending his world featherweight title. The intervening years have been tough, but Paul has just got his coaching licence, has lost eight stone in weight, and later this year has his autobiography coming out. He's been telling me how good it is to be back in boxing. It's tight defence, keep on head. It's going to be such a buzz. The prickly eyes and tingles on my neck and my head. When I see him training and doing well, they're just dedicated lads. Good jab, fella, double jab. Paul Ingle is back where he belongs, involved again in the sport of boxing. At the end of last year, he made it official, getting his coaching licence. Before they were saying, oh, come on, Paul, just help lads, help them out, help them. You got the experience you got, you got to help them. But I'm like, well, look, so then we always get the old one that says, we well, haven't got his coaching badge, how can we can't, how can we help him? Even though I've done everything in boxing, I just like to you know, I've got my badge now and now I can come down with my shorts on and, and my boxing, my gum shield, my head gathering, and we go help them all, you know what I mean? Give us ten, give us ten then. Paul comes in the gym. The, the box is uh, completely different, you know, the, the, the tempo, the work rate changes. It's, uh, it's, it's a positive influence all around the gym. His world title defence in December 2000 against Mbulelo Batili left Paul Ingle fighting for his life after getting a blood clot on the brain. The road back has been a long one. No, I haven't been tough. Oh, Jesus. No, I mean, yeah, it has. I mean, I was a really, you know... When I was boxing, I was I practice, I wouldn't stop still, you know. And now they said, you know, you've got to slow down now, Paul. You can't, you know, do what you used to do in this time. I can, why can't I? The weight piled on and Paul found himself with no energy to do anything. But a new diet has been the start of getting his life back. After losing, like, two or three stone, I was getting there. But, I mean, I've lost number four since then, so I'm going on nearly eight stone now, so, you know, I'm, ooh. I'm excited to get this tingle again. I come want to come to the gym, you know what I mean? Well, like before, I was saying, yeah, I'll come up to the gym, I'll come here yeah, now. Come like five, six o'clock, I'm like, I'm not moving out of this chair. Just didn't want to do anything. As long as I can start running and training with that, then I'll be another person. I really will. As as I can be out there giving it, you know, training with that, having a good laugh and running with them and, and I'll, you know, I'll not be back to where I was, you know what I mean? We used to have him in the studio all the time. It's great to see him back. And he was, of course, at the time, one of the most exciting featherweights of a generation. He, he was voted that one yeah. year for the, for the style of fighting. And he, was, he talked about being all energy, you know, and he was hyperactive as a kid. Uh, and run, he, he, he cannot wait to get back out running to, to use up some of that energy. But just the buzz of, of him being back in a boxing gym and rubbing off on the other kids, yeah. it was fantastic to see. Lovely to see. Yeah, absolutely. 2015, the year for Paul Ingle again.